Thanks for listening to our podcast, Unmetered. As a member-owned, not-for-profit electric cooperative, our focus is on providing affordable, reliable, safe electricity and outstanding member service. One way that we're doing that is by providing more avenues of communication to you, our member. Through the podcast, we hope that you will be able to find some helpful hints, tips, and things to help you conserve energy, as well as some informational pieces that will help you understand what it means to be a member. Welcome to another episode of Unmetered. Uh, extremely excited to have everyone here, as Very. always. And, of course, you know, this this week we're pretty excited about the topic we have in, on hand, which is going to be talking about our new Cooperative Month uh, kickoff that's, that's going to be happening yeah. uh, next week. Yeah, we actually, well, you know, we do it every uh, every single year around October. Uh, it's it's a lot of fun. But we'll get into that in a second. Uh, first things first, um, you know, the typical housekeeping. Uh, it's a beautiful day outside. And, that it is. And sometimes in, in uh, beautiful days, we still have outages, which it was the case this past Saturday. Uh, so, uh, you know, if you have an outage, report it because it's always better to report it and make sure that we actually know. Uh, so if you have an outage, call us 877-777-9111. Uh, report it through your app, uh, which mm -hmm. is really cool. Uh, or you can report it uh, just by going on and logging in. Well, and that's, that's another, that's a great segue for next week. Uh, which we're actually going to be talking with Chip Pinion, uh, who right. works in the system, who works in our control center, um, and he's going to be talking a little bit about outages and how that kind of plays into um, his particular role of of trying to prevent those outages right. and to restore those. Well, and that's that's kind of a cool thing is is Chip and his guys, uh, his folks back there, you know, they man that. Mm -hmm. Now, not all individually, but they man our systems control sure. twenty four hours a day, seven yep. days a week, three hundred sixty five days a year. So regardless of when your power goes out or if your power goes out, just call, you know, I mean, report it. We'll, we'll get somebody out there. Well, and, and there's also, um, some more conversations that we're going to be having going into this month, which we'll get into here in just a little bit. But the other thing that we love to talk about besides, uh, you know, how to report outages, right. of course, is sharing change. Yep. Yep. Sharing change. Uh, again, you can sign up through, uh, through the website. Um, it's the easiest good thing you'll ever do. Uh, really all you got to do is, is, uh, you can even look at it at the, the corner of your bill because mm -hmm. we made it that easy that you can sign up there too. Um, but all that money that that's collected just from rounding your bill up goes to help local organizations, uh, in your local area. So, uh, you know, if you're in Williamson County, it stays in Williamson County and, and on down the line. Uh, but it's a really, really good cause. You know, we're, we're getting into, man, and I hate to say it, but it, it's, it's you know, we're getting into fall. We're getting into the giving season. Right. I love that part. Mm -hmm. You know, not so much the winter part. That's what I mean by I hate to say it. But, uh, uh, you know, we're getting into that part. And, and that's a great way to give. That's a great way to give back. It's, it's pretty low impact uh, in, in the sense that it, you know, it's not, hey, fork over a hundred bucks. You right. know what I mean? It's, it's, literally pennies on the dollar. So, well, and there's also the ability to do a share, to give a little bit more. So, so in right. case you don't want to give, uh, or maybe you've already signed up for the sharing change, which is rounding that, right. that bill up, but, uh, maybe you want to give maybe $5 more, uh, each, each month on your bill, which right. is, is not a hard thing to do at all. You just give us a holler and we'll be able to set you up for our sharing change plus program. That's right. Um, which again, five, 10, I mean, we've, whatever, we've got all types of amounts in, in between, right? Whatever your budget allows. I mean, truly, you know, if, if it's, uh, you know, if if five dollars is a lot for some, don't do it. You know, by all means, don't do it. Uh, you know, if if you think that you can do an extra dollar, hey, every little bit exactly. helps, and it, every it little bit up. helps out uh, to to the folks that are in your area. So, a couple of good things, uh, just housekeeping wise. Well, and and then also, of course. Uh, we want to kind of get back into our topic, which is going to be about Cooperative Month, which That's right. that is something that is it rolls around every October. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times, it also kind of gets it may get lost in some places because a lot of places have a uh, public power week, which right. is, is different from cooperative month. Yeah. And, and that's where it gets, it's, it's interesting because, you know, in a way we, we celebrate public power week, uh, you know, but mm -hmm. we are a, a, a member owned not-for-profit cooperative. So we celebrate public power week in the sense that, you know, we're, we, we are getting the same power that the public, you know, that, that the municipalities and stuff are getting mm -hmm. same power. Uh, and, and, you know, we're providing that service, um, though we're not owned by a city, you know, we're owned by our members. So it's, it, it gets, it's interesting. Um, you know, but we celebrate it and we celebrate our municipality friends and, you know, all the, like, uh, Mercerboro electric, you know, they're, they're fantastic. They're literally right down the road from us. Um, you know, and, and we celebrate public power with them. Um, you know, and so uh, we're going to do some, you know, just, 
you'll see some social posts, uh, just us encouraging the, the public power folks out there. Uh, but you know, even more so uh, when, when we get into cooperative month, mm -hmm. we're going to be doing some pretty cool things, uh, you know, in, in our local offices. So it's, it's a good month. It's a lot. Well, of fun. and you'll definitely be able to find what, you know, what we're, what's going on there. Of course, we're still ironing out the, uh, the final details of, of some of That's that right. stuff. And we, cause we want to, cause when we let you guys know where it is, we're going to let you know on social, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, that's right. uh, and of course through the podcast each week, we'll be able to also be telling you what's going on and where that's happening yeah, as and, well. And, and last year, and I think that they're, that we're doing it again this year, that that in each of the offices, you know, they're doing something special. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so what's really cool is, you know, last year, some of the offices, they had bagels in the morning, you know, bagels and juice. So, you know, if you happen to go by, you grab some bagels and juice. I think one of the offices did like hot dogs around mm -hmm. lunch and another one did, uh, did popcorn, uh, you know, so I, I'm not saying saying that, that we're going to do those those exact same things, but there's going to be different things right. going on at the offices. So when we when we list those out, man, go by. Go mm -hmm. by, say hi to the folks. I mean, that's, that's your office. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, and it's also, it, it's one of those things also that when you think about it, uh, putting faces to the people that you, that you interact that's right. with. And that's, and that's something that is a reason why being a cooperative is so great is, you that's know, right. it's not some, some faceless uh, person or anything like that. I mean, Come talk to us. Come come yeah. hang out with us. You know, and that's and this is another opportunity. Obviously, the annual meeting is our is one of those big that's opportunities. Right. This is a, a smaller opportunity, and there's always something going on. I mean, for instance, uh, there's always in in instances where we're able to uh, get out in the community. So that's like right. last weekend, we had we were out in Eagleville. Um, we were working with their fall festival. That's right. Um, we had the business appreciation lunches here. That's uh, right. Recently, so again, there's always these small opportunities for members to to get involved in such a way where they can have a conversation with us and, and understand that, that's right. you know, while yes, we provide power, we also are part of your community. And not only part of your community, but owned by you, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and it's really important. You know, one of our, one of the, uh, the seven cooperative principles is commitment to community and, and man, you hit the nail on the head. That's exactly what we do. We're not only are, are we committed to the communities, but the people who work here, live in the communities, you know, mm -hmm. so, so when they're giving back to the communities, like, uh, what was it last week that we did the, the hometown huddle? Yeah. The hometown huddle yeah. out, out in Woodbury, yep. we were, we were able to, um, go to East side elementary. I, I actually got to, to go, right. go to that particular, um, that particular thing where it was a lot of fun. We were able to go out and work on some playgrounds as yep. part of United Way's hometown huddle. Uh, right. I think here in a few weeks, you're going to have the opportunity to go do some, some, some volunteer stuff work out in um, Fairview. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's a great time to get back into the communities to, to just partner up and, and, you know, have a lot of fun. Uh, you know, I mean, that's what we do. And, and so when we get into cooperative month, that's what cooperative month right. is all about is just letting our folks know, Hey, this is your company. This is who we are. You know, we're, we, yes, we are, we are the electric company, but I like to think that, that we break the mold when it comes to, to what a, a, a utility right. looks like, you know, we, because we aren't unapproachable, you know, we, we want to hear from our members. We want to talk to our members. Uh, you know, if, if our members have questions, ask, you know, we are, we are an open, but we're going to talk to you about whatever we can. Well, and, that, and, and speaking of, of asking, of course, anytime that, that, a member has a question about something, they can reach out to us on social. When we're doing right. these live, these live videos, again, you know, you're, you're monitoring the That's feed. Right. Um, hopefully it's working a little bit it better for be, you now yeah, it than, than it was a minute ago. Yeah. But, um, but again, you know, we're, we're always trying to communicate in such a way that our members are wanting to, to hear it. You That's know what right. I mean? You know, so for instance, podcast was one of our newest communication methods. Our Tennessee magazine is another, another yeah. place to find a lot of information That's right. um, about everything from a, a message directly from Chris all the way through to energy efficiency tips to what's going right. on with sharing change. That's right. And so, Again, as part of you know that commitment to communicating with our members and being a member a member owned cooperative, um, this podcast kind of goes into that, and actually mm -hmm. it kind of leads into the next piece that we're doing on this podcast, which is uh, the fact that we're actually pulling in some other areas right. other than line. which is so cool. You know, we have about four hundred employees, and and you know the oftentimes aside from from these two, you know, the, <laughs> the linemen are the faces of the, of the right. cooperative. You know, I mean, when we think electricity and we think, uh, you know, the, the storms come in and outages, it's the linemen and they do an incredible job. But there are a lot of folks 
also behind the scenes, you know, we're going to talk to, we talked about next week, we're going to talk to, to Chip. We're going to talk to yep. our vegetation management folks, um, which is going to be really interesting. And it's really cool how those mm -hmm. two go hand in hand. Um, but then we're also going to talk to somebody from finance and we're going to talk to somebody from engineering and, and somebody and from H HR. And, HR. And, and I mean, again, there's, there are several different areas. And, and of course, we're, we're going to touch on our member services That's folks right. uh, and some of our, our billing as well. So That's again, right. there is a, there's a, a very good amount of information <laughs> that's coming out because again, there's a quarter of our of our employees uh, close in that right. range that are linemen that right. you see every day you see us too you see Jay out in the community but then there is an entire team that is out there supporting our membership right. by by providing services and providing uh, a level of, of member service that um, again allows them to focus on uh, being a member on that's right. living their life and not worrying about whether their electricity is going to be on or not. <laughs> that's right. Well, you know, and the reason that we want to do that is, is really because every piece of what we do, every employee has a, has their own specific job, obviously, but it's all an intricate part of, of how we operate. Right. You know, and, and, you know, with, with 400 people, it may seem like, man, that is a whole ton of people. And it's, it's a decent mm -hmm. sized, right. decent sized uh, crew, but at the same time, you know, it takes every person, mm -hmm. you know, there's not, there's not one job where, you know, oh, well, you know, we just kind of slack off a little bit. It, it is busy mm -hmm. all the time. And that's why we wanted to bring it in because, you know, one of the folks that we have coming in from, from HR, she talks about, I mean, she does training. She sets up all of our training and, and, you know, helps onboard new employees and things like that. It's just there is a lot that goes into it. You don't. I didn't realize until we started looking at it how much finance really does. You know, I mean, yeah, they pay the bills. Yeah, we get paid, but they, there's accountants. There's all kinds of stuff. And, and, that, and they're the ones who help uh, with with making sure that we communicate the rates correctly, making exactly. sure that you know they're double checking the numbers there. There. That's right. Again, there's there's so many things that is a collaborative effort. Right. Um, that that goes on behind the scenes to make That's it right. so that all the linemen you know are are need need to be responsible That's for right. is going to be working on on those lines. That's right. Um, because again, if 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 everyone was a lineman, then who would help you know help take care of in the in the who office? Who would come talk on the podcast? Exactly. Who would come? Like... Who would come? You know, communicate <laughs> those types of things. So again, it, it's it's one of those things where we we love our linemen. It, you know, we'll we'll, uh, we'll definitely be getting those guys back on here again. But this month in particular, we're focusing on the people that make up the rest of uh, right. the employees around here. That's right. And they're going to be kind of explaining a little bit about what they do and how that directly affects the purpose of Middle Tennessee Electric. That's right. And, and you know, and going back to what we said at the beginning, you know, there's going to be different things mm -hmm. in different offices. So we just, you know, we encourage you to keep an eye on our social page. Uh, you know, just, just kind of listen for for some of the things that we have in the podcast. Man, we're at podcast 50 already. Yeah, I know. Two it's more. Two, two more. Two and, more. Well, and, and if I remember correctly, I think we took off uh, two weeks. Our, our first, our, at some point during the year because of holidays, right. uh, our, our first podcast actually launched a week from today. Right. So, so in, you know, next Thursday when we have, uh, we're going to be talking with Chip and Vegetation there, that's actually going to be podcast um, that will have actually gone an entire year of, right. of weekly. Uh, so 51 of, of will be, will be our, man, that is just crazy. It's, it's, it's crazy that we've, we've come so far uh, we, so fast. We encourage everybody go back and listen to them, but please don't judge us on the first ones. <laughs> The first one is the first one is Chris Jones and and and, and, that is and it's, a, it's a great one. Yeah. Uh, but number two, you might it, it's a little bit uh, sketchy there. So again, uh, we've this has definitely been a learning process for for uh, for this for us in this room and yes. and those who've been watching uh, the the process evolve along yes, the way. Yes, you if you have been there from the beginning, uh, like we have, you have felt the pain and. I mean, I think it's I think it's good. I think I think we're lightening it up, and it's oh, yeah. a lot. But you know, hey, I'll be honest with you, man. When we got started, I was like, "There's no way we're coming up with you know 52 different episodes or 51 different episodes or whatever mm -hmm. it was, uh, you know, worth of content." And we've stayed solid. You well, know? And, and the thing is that there's there's you know because when we get into one topic. It's not a, it's it's one of those things where we can't even dive deep enough into it that we are like okay you know what we're gonna we'll come back to it you know right. for instance uh, we're we're, we're kind of working right now I've already interviewed Chip as part of, of next right. week's uh, podcast and just by talking to him there's three more topics that have come <laughs> out of this that that I think members are going to be interested in hearing about one yeah. of which is going to be to actually get one a couple of the system control guys to come onto the podcast and talk about what they do right. and how they got to be where they are that's right well you know in one of the other areas that that we talk about 
about all the time and and you know we we mentioned and and we want to do i mean it ended up being almost it's going to be probably an entire podcast is talking about our contact center exactly you know i mean yep. you know we were just talking we did a, a chamber of commerce event this morning and and talking to people and talking about the number of calls that they take per month i mean they'll blow your mind you know i mean 30,000 calls a month yeah i mean that's ridiculous and there's there you know? that, that is a lot of phone calls in a very very fast pace it is and so you know we want to get on get those folks on here and really have them talk about hey, this is what we do uh you know because it's important because you know we don't think about those things yes. and so you're right i mean we have we have tons of podcast uh, ideas tons more coming up uh but you know First and foremost, starting next week, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're going to start having some stuff coming out. Uh, we're going to talk about some the different things that are going out for, for each of the offices. Um, but, you know, Cooperative Month, it's coming. Well, and, and, and again, to kind of remind, to let people kind of know what the, the cooperative um, does, that's, that's really the purpose of right. this month is right. to bring awareness yep. to, to the members about what the cooperative is, cooperative is and does. Because, right. again, not everyone is from this area. No. You know, and a lot of people don't understand what a cooperative is. While we may be one of the second, you know, the top top three or four cooperatives in the country, we are nowhere near as big as some of these uh, private owned uh, oh, yeah. utilities. Yeah. And, and, and I mean, it, we've talked about it before, but my, uh, growing up, I, we, you know, mm -hmm. we weren't part of a cooperative middle when i became a member of middle tennessee electric that was my first step into the cooperative right. world and i had no idea what a cooperative was i was like whatever it's just the electric company but now i know and so i, I agree that you know this month is really bringing that awareness mm -hmm. and this month is really uh you know showing why it's different why it's why it, you know it, you want to be mm -hmm. a, a member of this a couple of cool things that we had that we do have coming up that just happen to fall in cooperative month pumpkin carving I it, mean, we, we have the pumpkin. I it's mean, something that, that uh, were, I guess, were you here when it started? I was, you, I was, you yeah. Were part we were, of the people that, that yeah. put that together at yeah, first. Yeah, we, uh, we start actually, we were we started that one, I guess, what, four years ago, something like mm -hmm. that. And and uh, it was cool. I mean, it was, we've just been getting more and more interest and people love it, you know, mm -hmm. and it's it's all fan voted, you know, membership voted. And, so. and that's the best thing about this is that you'll be able to uh, submit a, a pumpkin. Yep. Um, so like I said, take a picture of it. If you're, if you're carving a pumpkin this weekend, that's right. uh, the actual contest doesn't start until next week. But um, you'll be able to take a picture of it, submit yes. that in there, yep. get your friends to vote for it, get your family to vote for it, That's share right. it on social, all those good things. And, and you have the opportunity to win a uh, some gift cards. That's right, and Amazon so, gift cards. And, you know, the, the cool thing is, though, I, a lot of times, you know, we've heard people say, oh, well, I didn't get in early. I'm not going to win. Man, I think it was last year. Mm -hmm. It was a late entry that people just yep. just skyrocketed, mm -hmm. you know, so it, it Yes. And, and you never know which one's truly going to win. You know, some right. of the ones that I looked at, I'm like, oh, man, <laughs> that, that, is one so is, that one is going to win. And then yeah. and then again, because it's all about member voting, fan voting there, that's uh, right. it didn't. And I'm like, yep. oh, man, it's it's so good. It's not. And, and that's important, man. It's not us. We're mm -hmm. not voting. I mean, we can vote as members, but, right. you know, it's not like, oh, you know, we I, let's vote on this one. This is the one. No, it's it is everybody, all the membership. So, so the, you'll see some more information about that, yeah. the rules for the contest, That's right. uh, those types of things. And we'll also do a little, we might do a little throwback uh, to show you some of the examples of winners from past years. Yeah. I mean, some um, of them are really good. We'll, we'll, we'll go through the, the, uh, the archives that we have and, right. and pull that up. But uh, the other thing that that's going on is actually a new contest that, that is run through uh, NRECA. That's right. That's right. It's called uh, who powers you um, watch for details on this mm -hmm. one, because it's, it's, it, basically it's it's a way for you to nominate someone in your community uh, that that is you know that that makes a difference and so uh, more a lot more information to come on that but you know it's it's not a long entry process but they can win I, I, I think uh, it's a, well there's 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 three different prize levels there's mm -hmm. a first prize which is uh, five thousand and then right. it goes down from there so right. again this is a great opportunity for those people that are working in nonprofits that are looking for right. a little you know are looking for assistance in, in creating Creating something, and that's that's really who it's geared toward is those people that are in our community right. that are powering our community to be better than that's it right. was the day before. And you know, and it's 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 run through the our national association. Mm -hmm. uh, they're the ones that do it, and so we're just we're just you're going to see stuff on social that that we're going to be promoting it, encouraging folks. Correct. You know, we don't we don't have a whole lot to do with it besides that, but mm -hmm. but get involved, get involved in it because it's really cool, you know, and, and it's not difficult, and you know, your your community. 
so again, there's going to be some more contest com yep. rules coming out on that. Um, anybody is eligible to nominate employees right. and, and members both. Uh, but of course, the only people who can win are going to be members. So there's a great, it's a great opportunity. Um, and it, while it is a national campaign, it is, there's not a ton of entries that are going into it. So there's that's a right. very great likelihood yep. that you could actually win uh, on your submission. That's right. That's right. Just check it out. I mean, if nothing else, take the time, click exactly. the link, check it out. But so uh, like I said, coming up, be, be staying tuned this, this coming right. month, uh, because each week we're going to be doing something at one of the local area offices. That's right. Uh, you don't want to miss your, your area. Um, and then Especially of course, they got food. Exactly. You know, there's, mean, food or, or there's, there's always something that's, that's, right. that's good going on there. That's the, right. the contests that are coming up, those will be coming out on social soon. That's and right. again, you're going to really enjoy that. Of course, we all, we always want to remind people that you can find us, uh, on any number of channels. So if you are not, um, currently subscribed to the podcast, you can actually do so by going to iTunes or Google Play. That's right. Uh, you can also check us out, of course, on Facebook, which is where we're recording we're live right, right now. now. Uh, right. And it also is put on our YouTube and our website. So again, you pop those up. That's kind of cool. I'm working on it. I, yeah, I thought I had an outage one earlier, and I was like, oh no, I didn't have it loaded in here. That's but we'll, cool. we'll get there. Um, but again, there's there's it's plenty so of offers. There's so many. We're learning. That's um, Don't look at week two, uh, yes, uh, episode two. Okay, so again, there's a lot of opportunities. There's a lot of fun things going on here. Uh, if you have any questions that you would love for us to address in a podcast, that's right. Be sure to comment below. Uh, you can also just send us a private message. You can that's send right. us a post on the page. And and again, uh, we would love to have uh, your engagement with that because again, right. the more you guys drive this podcast, the more content is going to be geared to what you what you're looking for. That's right. And, That's right. and again, it's going to be fantastic. So thanks again for listening. Uh, next week we'll be back. Uh, Josh will, Josh will be, Josh will be out, but I'll be handling That's right. uh, the hosting duties that week. And again, uh, we're already kind of pre-recording some, some interviews that I'll be uh, hosting and telling you guys a little bit about uh, yeah. live next yep. week. So again, we'll be live, uh, but, but we'll have chip and, and some guys from vegetation management. That's and right. It's going to be a great, great conversation. It will. It will. Good deal. All right. We'll see you next week. Thanks again. And uh, we'll see you next week. Unmetered is brought to you by Middle Tennessee Electric.